Chapter 4 The Alcoholic Family and the Healthy Family The alcoholic family and the healthy family are at opposite ends of the spectrum. The alcoholic family operates in a way that contains and controls the members of the system. This control stifles the mental, emotional, and sometimes physical growth of its members. The healthy family, on the other hand, assists its members in their development. The controls that the healthy family places on its members are appropriate to the age group and the abilities of the individual members. Once again, let's look at the family system continuum. As before, the chart is scaled from minus 10 to plus 10, with minus 10 being the low end or most dysfunctional end, and plus 10 being the high or most functional end. The alcoholic family will always fall in the 0 to minus 10 range, depending on the degree of dysfunction. By its nature, the alcoholic family is dysfunctional. Listed below the 0 to minus 10 side of the family system continuum are 10 characteristics of the alcoholic family. Below the 0 to plus 10 side of the continuum are listed 10 corresponding characteristics of the healthy family. There are several points that can be made about the continuum on page 30. First, I have never met a totally unhealthy minus 10 family. Nor have I ever met a totally healthy plus 10 family. Second, most alcoholic families that I have encountered would fall in the minus 2 to minus 6 range, depending on the inflexibility of the family. The same is true for the healthy family. Most would fall in the 0 to plus 5 range, depending on the family flexibility. Third, the healthy family can, for a short period of time, act in a very dysfunctional way, depending on the nature of the family crisis. The healthy family, however, does not remain in a dysfunctional mode of operation for an extended period of time. It will reassert its health and return to a normal state. This is not true for the alcoholic family. Crisis increases the amount and intensity of dysfunction, and the family does not recover. It gets worse. From the above family system continuum and the following descriptions of the alcoholic family and the healthy family, it can be seen that the person who grows up in an alcoholic family will view life in a different way from the person who comes from a healthy one. The ACA's basic approach to life is different. ACAs view the world as an unsafe place and cope with an unsafe world by using the rules that they learned as children. An ACA named Millie spoke for many ACAs when she said, When I was growing up, I never thought the world was a safe place. Even today, whenever I put my foot down, I wonder if the earth will really be there. So here are the characteristics that are listed on page 30. The alcoholic family is on one side and the healthy family is on the other side. I am just going to read them to you across so you can compare. Number one, alcoholic family, rigid rules. Healthy family, no rigid rules. Number two, alcoholic family, rigid rules. Healthy family, no rigid rules. Number three, alcoholic family. Family secrets. Healthy family. No family secrets. Number four. Alcoholic family. Resists outsiders entering the system. Healthy family. Allows outsiders into the system. Number five. Alcoholic family. Is very serious. Healthy family. Has a sense of humor. Number six. Alcoholic family. No personal privacy. Unclear personal boundaries. Healthy family. Members have right to personal privacy and develop a sense of self. Number seven. Alcoholic family. False loyalty to the family. Members are never free to leave the system. Healthy family. Members have a sense of family and are permitted to leave the system. Number eight. Alcoholic family. Conflict between members is denied and ignored. Healthy family. Conflict between members is allowed and resolved. Number nine. 
Alcoholic family. The family resists change. Healthy family. The family continually changes. Number 10. Alcoholic family. There is no unity. The family is fragmented. Healthy family. There is a sense of wholeness.